What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 110. Episode 110, we got you live on the screens all over the place, on the Instagrams, the Facebooks, just making sure we're all connected, all locked in. So episode number 110 of Steve Says. This is, today we're going to talk about taking yourself, asking yourself, do you take yourself too seriously in in your job, in your personal life, your professional life, and just life in general. Did you take life just too seriously in general? As you know, each week on Steve Says, this is not what you always want to hear, but this is what you freaking need to hear. Some people will hate, but most can relate. We are bringing the fire every second of every fucking second. Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt overcome and destroy the obstacles preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you could stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. I do a di- several different live shows throughout the week on the mind, the body, the business, on the family. This is the one geared towards the mind, the personal development, helping you get your shit together, and that is what's going to be a force multiplier in all the other areas of your life, on the personal side, the family side, the fitness side, the money and the business side. It all starts up here in your freaking dome. So again, this week we're talking about about taking yourself too seriously and really a a sense of humor. Something that you wouldn't think or you wouldn't even realize that I may have an expertise in, that may even be a fucking superpower of mine, and that is to actually have a sense of humor, to actually laugh whether it's on the outside or in the inside, or to make other people regularly laugh, get, find humor and stuff. And we're going to talk about what type of sense of humor do you have? Also, do you know how to weaponize your sense of humor? Yes, weaponize it. We like to freaking weaponize everything. I love the word weaponize. You could weaponize fucking everything. If you can learn how to weaponize your sense of humor, you're ahead of the game. And then I want to ask you, are you regularly displaying your real freak self with active self-expression through that sense of humor, through that, whatever you want to call it, sarcasm. And we're going to talk about the different types of sense of humor here on Steve Says. You know, on here, Steve Says, again, we focus on the mind, the body, the business. And if you are taking yourself too seriously, you're going to struggle in all those areas. You're also not going to be able to live according to the role model mindset that we talk about, about how to Operate to dominate in your discipline, your energy, your confidence, your action taking, and being your freak self. That all requires you to not take your shit too seriously, not take yourself too seriously, not take any situation too seriously. We're going to break this down and just talk about it and really just discuss this on a whole bunch of different levels. But let's start off on the different, before we get into it and examples of it, and there's some some other, some, some fucking things I want to discuss about it that we're going to get to that whatever. Anyway, before we get to all that, Let's talk about the, the types of sense of humor. There's psychologists, the brainiacs, whatever, the scientists, whoever the fuck it is, psychiatrists, uh, the, the very many that I, I might have visited or not in my life. I know the, the studies, and I, and I research this stuff, t- say there's four types of sense of humor. There's affiliative, self-enhancing, aggressive, and self-defeating. And I was looking at them and thinking of the examples. And, and, and as I give you the examples, I want you to, th- to put in the comments below what type of of sense of humor do you have? Or do you even have a sense of humor? Are you just a, a dry, robotic, fucking zombiotic, stuck in the gray matter, straight line, fucking dragging through life and, and miserable or whatever? You you shouldn't be. And if you are, this is your fucking wake-up call. Because if I can have the ultimate type of sense of humor, to, even to the f- fact where it's a fucking superpower of mine, anyone in the world can develop a sense of humor. Let me tell you that. So, the, the four types, again, it's affiliative, self-enhancing, aggressive, and self-defeating. Affiliative humor means you're cracking jokes, you're engaging in just back and forth kind of banter and, and humor to make other people like you. Self-enhancing humor is optimistic. It's coping humor. It's characterized by the ability to laugh at yourself or absurdity of a situation and to feel better as a result of it, kind of enhancing the situation. Then aggressive, aggressive is characterized as sarcasm, as teasing, as criticism, as ridicule. That might be one that I might be a little heavy on. And then self-defeating humor is attempting to get others to like you or to laugh by, by putting yourself down and putting yourself down in a, in a positive way. You know what I'm saying? Like talking shit about yourself, talking shit. So to me, 
aggressive humor is talking shit about others without, without intending for them to take it personal. Self-defeating humor is talking shit about yourself without intending for yourself to be a fucking bitch ass and, and take it personal against yourself. Like, these are superpowers. Now you see why I'm saying this is a, a fucking skill. This is a talent that you can use as a superpower to help you with your mindset, with your all areas of life, personally and professionally, when you don't take shit too seriously. And when I think back to the military, into the Marine Corps, and I think about it, and I, and I talked about this during the project, that even during the project, the worse shit gets, the worse the suffering gets, the worse the hardship gets, the more pain and suffering that you start experiencing, you know what happens, especially in the Marine Corps, the more it fucking sucked, the deeper the suck became, the higher level of sense of humor we had, the higher, more, more joking and shit talking and back and forth, like extreme levels like you wouldn't fucking believe. Like I call it just situational sarcasm. My kids tell me I, I could, I should be a lawyer. I should be fucking Johnny Cochran or I should be an actor or a comedian because of the shit talking that just naturally flows out. And I couldn't sit there on a stage and just fucking make people laugh. It just doesn't happen. I don't have that shit in my fucking bones. I'm just a, a boring, bald, skinny, white dude that needs a fucking shave. Holy shit. I gotta shave this shit. Anyway, it's situational sarcasm. Like, it just pops up. And as you create this as a superpower, it becomes, it, it keeps you actually sharp. It keeps you on top of your game, on the ball, keeps you creative, keeps your fucking mental and uh, emotional juices flowing. And it also helps you deal with shit, helps you deal with hardship and suffering and sacrifice. Like, the worst, I'm telling you, in the Marine Corps, we'd have the shittiest fucking job. You, maybe we're filling sandbags for seven or eight hours and, and tying them up and digging them and fucking who knows what else and having to carry them around and move them around different places on some kind of work detail in the blazing sun with fucking bugs and mosquitoes and ticks and fleas and whoever else, God knows what, fucking on you. And somehow, you would turn that into the most fun fucking thing in the world. Like, having that type of sick, morbid sense of humor that the worst shit gets, like up and into, up and in, in, including, up into and including death, pretty much, the deeper it gets, the higher level your sense of humor goes in the equal and opposite direction. It's a, it's a crazy fucking thing, but that allows you to be able to cope with anything. Think about it. And and so I think, where the fuck did this come from? It's like all the way back to my childhood. And, and, and that's always what it goes back to, right? We go back to the beginning. Go back to what it was like in the fucking beginning. And think about it when I was just sitting home alone with no friends, n n nothing to do, no one to talk to, no one to play with, except my damn self. And you're stuck there for days and hours and fucking years and decades playing by yourself, getting used to be by yourself, that you it ends up evolving in, in from a, a, a poor little boo fucking who, poor little me, little child, daddy, daddy didn't fucking play with me, to, wait a minute, I'm going to break this cycle and change this and use this as material for my own fucking use, like we talked about two weeks ago, about turning obstacles into opportunities. I'm going to use this. I'm going to fucking weaponize this shit. Thank you for ignoring me. Thank you for leaving me alone. I'm going to weaponize this shit. And I'm going to turn this into a fucking superpower. I'm going to turn this into super. I'm going to learn how to amuse myself. I'm going to learn how to entertain myself. I'm going to learn how to self, self soothe. It's a motherfucking superpower once you learn this kind of stuff. And, and, and I'm talking to the, the worse shit gets again, the more higher increase the level of creativity, but also the level of creativity, morbidity, if that's a fucking word, like it gets more morbid and dark. It gets funnier, but darker. It gets funnier, but deeper. It gets funnier, but more serious. It gets funnier, but just sick, twisted, and motherfucking perverted, like deep, dark, nasty shit is the, the worst it gets. Because you could either use that, it's like anything else. Shit goes wrong, shit goes sideways, shit's not ideal situation. You could sit there and, and fucking get all depressed and down and out about it, or you could be like, fuck it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this, I'm going to flip the switch, learn how to flip all those different switches inside your, your, your little uh, childlike emotions, those little petty emotions that aren't even fucking serving you and learn how to use it. Use it to your own benefit. Use it for fucking good. Use the bullshit for good. Flip the damn script. Flip the way you're looking at it. Reframe everything. That's what the, this, that's why this ties right off of obstacles to opportunities. It is a fucking superpower when you can learn to weaponize the worst situations and turn it into something that's fucking funny, making people laugh. 
Think about it. Like I, uh, uh, getting people to laugh at a funeral. That's like how, how, how dark you want to think about it. You don't like that, then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Like you have to, otherwise, what could you do? Just get down and depressed and in a deep, dark hole and the corona's around and everything is shut down and there's fucking riots and all this other bullshit. What are you going to do? Like all you could do is fucking make jokes. That's why you see on the internet. You'll see all those pictures of, 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 of fucking funny things about this president and that president. It doesn't matter who you're for. Like, it's all fucking funny. Like, that's why you got to think about it. It's so fucking pathetic and sick and twisted that you, you have no other choice but to turn it into a fucking a, a sense of humor, to sarcasm, to one of those four types of, of sense of humor. And more often than not, the types, uh, as shit gets worse, goes into aggressive and self-defeating. Because those are the ones that are equally and oppositely, if it's a word or not, I don't give a fuck, dig you out of that hole and lift you up. It's got to be sick and fucking twist. You should hear the shit that we would talk about and the jokes we would crack in the, in the Marine Corps. And, and the shit talking and the shit that comes up when you're behind the scenes and even in, in the project, the things that go on, the things we see and hear and talk about and, 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 and be able to do it with a straight motherfucking face is what enhances the whole fucking thing. Because I was born without the facial muscular musculature to smile, that to, to crack the most deepest, darkest, sick, twisted, fucking perverted level of joke with a dead straight face without fucking breaking. There's something fucking weaponizing about that. There's something fucking serious about that. There's something powerful about that. There's something fucking magical about that when you start thinking about it. When you can amuse yourself in that way. And listen, for me personally, when... I use this as a weapon, when I use this as a reframe, when I use this to flip a switch from negative to positive, from bullshit, from suffering, from sacrifice and hardship, to motivation, positive fire, enthusiasm, motherfucking energy, to go fucking freak mode barbarian level, you know what? If no one else thinks it's funny, if no one else catches on, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Doesn't fucking matter. It's not... For anyone else. That's the great thing about this type of superpower. This is not for anyone else. It is great if it can be for anyone else. But first and foremost, it's for your fucking self. To keep yourself focused. To to take control of your your emotions. To keep yourself fucking focused and in, in, in the green with emotional discipline. And not get too high and too low and cut those peaks and valleys. And it's it's a, a crazy tool and skill to have to be able to control those emotions. That is first and foremost the purpose of this superpower, of this skill. Of this fucking enhanced ability. It's what keeps you fucking creative and sharp and on edge and bulletproof to other people's bullshit. It makes you bullshit bulletproof. Like, if you're one of the, the if you have a self defeating, deep, dark, nasty level of fucking sarcasm, combining those two on, on, the, on the bottom end of those four styles, what the fuck can anyone ever do to you or say to you that's gonna hurt your motherfucking feelings? Nothing. Nothing. It can't happen. You won't be, can't be broken. I call it the eight mile theory. You know, the end, and I talk about it pretty often. The end of eight mile, when Eminem decides to go first in his little rap battle or whatever, and he just breaks down every fucking thing about him that was just horrible, sick, twisted, nasty, fucked up, and perverted, and the other dude had nothing left to say. It's like, all right, I just put it all out there. Yeah, it's self defeating, but it's funny as fuck, really. And it's what's digging me out of this fucking hole. And you know what? It's shutting you the fuck up. What more could you say? What more could you say when you're a bald, ugly dude that wears two different color fucking shoes? Needs fucking shave. What more can you say to me to break my spirits? Nothing, because they're too fucking high. Because no matter how the deeper and darker gets, the higher and more fucking fun I'm going to have. Think about it when you could use that. That's how it's weaponized. It's weaponized against failure. It's weaponized against defeat. It's weaponized against your motherfucking enemies. Against your haters. How can someone hate on you? When you're able to laugh about hating on yourself. Think about it. It's a fucking powerful thing. It's a fucking magical thing. When you don't take yourself too seriously. When you don't take any situation or any any win or loss too fucking seriously. And you can control those fucking emotions. When you could have the ability to joke about yourself. Joke about others. Talk massive shit about other people. Without them getting pissed off and offended. Think about that. Think about how much of a superpower that is that you can talk shit about yourself, talk shit about someone else, talk shit about a group of people without offending someone. And and the sad thing is, nowadays, 
like everyone's fucking feelings gets hurt. Like whatever happened, like 1980s kind of comedy and, and stand-up comedy shows where everything was fair game. You could fucking talk about anything. Nowadays, we, shit, we went to a, a, a live comedy show in Las Vegas and you had to take your phones and turn your phones in. You couldn't bring your cell phones in because they were too afraid you would record and catch them saying something that might be offensive to a certain person or group or type or whatever. Fucking nuts. And this was Joe Rogan and, and Dave Chappelle. And that's what comedy is based off of. Those careers are based off of going over the top, insulting everyone. That's what makes the, that's the fucking beauty of the art. That high level of personal freedom and self-expression. That's what this is all about. When you could turn this kind of shit and have that type of sense of humor and that type of, of sarcasm. That's, that's the, it's just the acceptance of your freak self. It's the acceptance of the fucking world. It's the acceptance of just the craziness that's out there. It's the highest level of fucking personal freedom and self-expression. And it's like something that's fucking taken away. It's disgusting that now comedians who like, it's known, like, this is what we do. I'm saying this because it's funny and to make you laugh. Oh, no, that's offensive. That's offensive. You know, let's shut you down. Like, how fucking stupid. Um, and here's a, here's a fucking funny part about this. Imagine, imagine this. Imagine if everyone on earth... Ha, people talk about, oh, I have no filter. Motherfucker, you have a filter, okay? Even the way I'm talking here, it's just highly filtered. Anyone says they don't have a filter or they go and filter, they're, they're raw and authentic and real is full of motherfucking shit. You know why? Because if everyone walked around and you had zero filter on your brain and your thoughts and the shit going through your mind and the shit that you have dreams about subconsciously in, in your sleep, if all that shit was just, imagine all that shit was published and broadcast to the world. It might be some funny fucking shit, it might be some sick and twisted, nasty, deep, dark, fucking death, perverted, nasty shit. But if that was broadcast to the entire world, every single fucking human of the 8 billion plus or whatever amount of humans are supposed to be on this fucking rock would all be canceled and shut down. So quit with your bullshit about, oh, that's offensive and this and that. Because if your thoughts... If you're that person that thinks, oh, this comedian's offensive, we should, not, we should boycott them and shut them down and cancel them and all this other fucking pussy bullshit. If we could read your mind 24 hours a day and not even just read your mind, if we could broadcast your dreams and your subconscious thoughts that you have in the middle of the fucking night, guess what, motherfucker? You'd be shut down faster than anyone. Every fucking human was. It's called human nature. We're fucking animals. We're savages. We're beasts. And that's just the way it is. And we have to put that sensor on it that uh, that filter on it or we would all be shut the entire world would be fucking shut down and, and you know what if, if we were even able to put out half of it i think it'd be funny as fuck i think it'd be real as fuck it'd be fun as fuck like if you just don't take yourself too serious if you all had that same thick skin and not being fucking pussies about everything and and everything offends you about every single little thing i don't like the way you fucking blinked your eyes at me that's offensive to me you're always there's always something that you're some no matter who you are someone's gonna find something wrong with the way you do shit and and the thing is those same people are fucking 10 times more guilty of whatever it is like fucking frauds and hypocrite fake ass fucking fraudulent ass motherfuckers is what it is like that's the just reality of it so this really was we, we, we kind of got off the topic of the sense of humor and weaponizing it and and start being having sarcasm and, and and taking horrible situations and making it funny, having fun with it, not taking yourself or life or anything too seriously, even though you could be a laser beam focused, successful, serious, disciplined, energetic, action taking, confident motherfucker. And I am without taking myself or anything too seriously. Like, oh, so what? Fuck it. Who cares? We'll get back on track and find some way. And, and I can't even give you an example because I'm not that talented with it. But it, come, it just comes organic. It comes natural when shit happens to be able to do that. When you have that as a superpower, it becomes an automatic thing. It automatically, boom, it just digs you out of that hole. Boom, it digs whoever's out of that hole. Like, I can't even think of an actual situation. But you get the point. Learn to weaponize it. If you can weaponize that, you could weaponize anything. Use it to your benefit. Use it to your advantage. Use it to flip the script to dig you out of those deep, dark holes. Fucking have fun. Life is a fucking playground, motherfucker. Have fun with it. If you're even having fun every freaking day, if you're not just having fun, what is the fucking point? The point of life, the point of life, everyone's goal, the, the overarching core values of life is to 
get to, to, to constantly improve and move forward and grow and evolve. And close second behind that is to do number one, not at the expense of others. And part three is take other people along for the ride and help people out along the way. That's it. That's it. And if I could add a fourth to that, into all those stages, is have motherfucking fun. Like, if you ain't having fun, what's the point of any of that shit? If you ain't having fun at your job, if you ain't having fun in your career, and your business, your work, fucking, you better figure some shit out. If you don't have anything to get excited for every day, figure some shit out. If you can't make fun out of what you're doing and learn to laugh about it no matter how fucking bad it seems, you're doing it wrong. If you're lonely at the top, you're doing it wrong. If you're not having a blast at the top or the bottom or the fucking middle, you are doing it fucking wrong. Do something about it. Change your situation. Change the way you think. Change your perspective. Reframe the way shit goes in your head and make everything a fucking joke. It's so, it makes life so fucking easy. Make everything a fucking joke. The wins, the losses, fuck it. It's all a joke. The fucking serious shit, the not serious shit, Make it a fucking joke. The little stuff, the big stuff, make it a fucking joke. Life and even fucking death, make it a fucking joke. And you will live an awesome fucking life. You will live a happy life. You will live a fucking fulfilling life because that's a life of the ultimate personal freedom. That's a life of the ultimate personal expression and self-expression. Don't be one of those crab-ass motherfuckers crying and complaining about everything. Bitch, in the moment, everyone's getting offended. Cut that bullshit. It ain't cool and you're a fucking frog because you're fucking worse than anyone else. We could go deep inside your nasty little thoughts. So keep that in mind. I got to get rolling and listen up in case no one told you yet today. Go have some other fucking fun. Don't take shit too seriously. Have a fucking sense of humor. Make people laugh. And keep fucking rocking on. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.